Look at that. A perfect, or a uh, max level, I should say. Male Philo. We got to get that, you guys. Okay, uh, how are we going to do this? The thing is, is my taming pin is... Uh, occupied by the the baby raptor. Uh, I'm sorry, not baby raptor, baby rex, because I didn't want to leave it out in the open. <sighs> Can we use bolas on these guys? Let me look up um, Delta Dex here real quick. Okay, we cannot use bolas on them. What I think we should do is put everybody on passive let's just quickly build a taming pin right here uh, because i don't want to i've seen those things that just vanish well i think they don't vanish they just jump off and disappear and uh i want to stay in the area this is awesome it sucks that we uh you know that we lost that bear 150 bear but that was just not much we could do about that just the situation we were in. Okay. We don't need to make a really large trap. Okay, you're still there, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to just put down... Uh, let's see. Crafting. Foundation. Let's make all three of those, and let's track this. It's uh, more stone that we're going to need. And I'm going to put this down here for the moment. Is he still there? Yep, he is. Okay. You just stay put. Dude, don't do anything. Hey, baby raptor. Okay, let's grab some more stone. Okay, so. Uh, we got the trap ready here. Um, I'm assuming... It'll be able to fit through. Here, hold on. Let me pick that back up. I'm assuming it'll be able to fit through here. I don't see why not. It's not that big. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to get right about over here. He's looking at me. All right, let's get this down here. Let's, um, what am I doing? Two, okay, let's switch this over to Tranks. And I want to, let's see, this is a 150 Thylo. Oh, no. You know what? We're going to lose a bunch of levels by using Raw Prime. Uh, Cook Prime is even better than Raw Prime. Mutton is what we need. Even mutton, though, loses levels. They made it so the only thing you can feed this to not lose any levels is extraordinary kibble. Wow. I did not know that. We don't have mutton. We can, we can certainly get cooked prime, which is actually better than raw prime. According to Dota Dex. If, but if we don't tame it now, I mean, it, it'll disappear. There's just no, there's no way this thing's going to stay here long enough for us to go get mutton. And Extraordinary Kibble's completely out of the question for now. Oh, that sucks. Um, I guess then what we do is we... Um, we just tame it and get it as good as we can get it. Yeah, I didn't realize that. I, I thought 
we'd still have a pretty good chance of getting. I, I mean, it loses according to Dota Dex, seventy four levels is, is the max, which is always the case with a one fifty. But with raw prime, we will lose nineteen levels. Wow, that sucks. With cooked prime. 67 will lose about seven levels. So we definitely need to use Cook Prime because that's the best thing that's available to us. All right. Well, um, it is what it is. I'm glad I looked at that first, though, because I would have otherwise just assumed Raw Prime, you know. Um, it's going to take 24 crossbow bolts for my crossbow, and there's no chance of death. That sucks. But, you know. It is what it is. Um, cooked lamb chops, the next best thing, but we can't do that until we can't do that until we get, um, you know, mutton, right, or sheep. Here he comes. Oh man, I love these creatures. Where? Dude, what the hell? He's gonna kill Ark. He's totally bleeding it to death. I should have moved those guys back further. Oh man. Sorry, Ark. Unless I can get him to come over after me. Okay, now he's he's running off. Maybe Art will survive. Here, you need to be upset with me. I think it might... It's probably... Um... Torpor running, maybe? Okay, come over here. Maybe he can't fit through there. He's, I guess he's a little bigger than I remembered. Okay, this is a bit of a problem. Let's try it again. Can you get in there? Hmm. Okay. Alright, so we gotta get... Let's eat this thing so our bird can heal up because it's kind of got banged up a little bit. Uh, Alright, we're gonna have to get one of these panels off here. Jeez Louise, my bird's beat up. Okay, it's running away for a second. Just quickly get that up. Okay. Now, where'd he go? He's right there. Okay. Come back this way. All right. Now, oh, God damn it. I thought I had those on my... I did, but then I replaced them with the... We got him. Okay. Because he can't get out that opening. Whew. Okay. I thought for sure we were going to lose art, but we're good. Okay, now, um, these, I think these guys have pretty fast torpor drop. Let me look. Oh, they have really high torpor drop. 6.4 points per second. Whoops. Um, there's a very slim chance that we could get it down load it up with narcotics and then run up north and see if we can find a sheep real quick Let, let's go ahead and get it knocked out first and then we'll kind of assess that situation what you're okay he made a noise like he was knocked out or something but he's not obviously Let's check and see how close he is. Oh, no, he's got a ways to go. Okay. Or she. I don't know. I didn't even bother to look what sex it was. Okay. 
Okay, let's check it now. It's getting there. Its health is down to about 55%. Looks like maybe it does have a headshot modifier. Oh yeah, it does. Okay, I wasn't paying attention to that. Okay, whew. So, yeah, its health is down about 45, so it's not terrible. Um, oh my God, look how fast that torpor's dropping though. Okay. Well, I inadvertently, not meaning to, which is what inadvertently means, <laughs> brought some narcotic with us so that's actually kind of fortuitous isn't it let's grab a bunch of that see here's the thing man this the torpor drop on this is so fast that oh man i don't know if it's worth trying to go up there um we would have to go into this area here that's where the ava spawned it it might be worth a run. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go into here. And team's in progress. Uh, I'm going to just absolutely gorge it with narcotic. Um, and then I'm going to fly up there, but keep an eye on this. And if we don't find an obvious by the time the torpor gets back down to half. Let's just give it a couple right now, but I'm going to go put everybody else away. Then we'll just come back and we'll use Cook Prime. You got banged up, didn't you, kiddo? Okay, everybody follow me. Let's get you guys back to base. It was nice that we uh, were able to get that so close to base. Yeah, Art got hurt, man. I, I thought we were going to lose him, but fortunately the uh, Thylo stopped messing with him. Okay, you follow. Chomp follow Cheeseball. Al follow Cheeseball. You're already following Cheeseball. Okay, so uh, let's go here. Let's take a drink. I already I should already have cooked prime I do let's take that with us so that way we can just immediately put it on uh, when we get back we'll kill a couple things along the way to get the arch healed back up yeah I put uh, mr. egg inside the pin there because you know it's still a baby with one of the Raptors to guard it otherwise I would have probably tried to drag it back to the pin by the base but this works now, there's always the chance that something might come along and mess with it, too. But, I mean, what can you do, right? Hopefully that won't happen. Okay, so, let's just give you... I, I think... Hmm. I think these will continue to be effective and hold it at max torpidity. Even after it reaches it. But I might be wrong about that. I'm not sure. But let's just get going, and like I said, we'll keep an eye on it and see. Uh, yeah, we need to go that way. If it reaches halfway before we get back, then we're just going to come back because I don't, you know, I don't want to risk losing it. Of course, here. Well, you know what though? I'm not thinking this through right. If it does stand up, it's not going to go anywhere. It's caught. We'll just have to knock it out again, which would not be a big deal. So, yeah, okay. In that case, in that case, I should act. Let's, let's get the narcotic back off of it because I think we will lose it. Man, my treehouse looks cool from here. <laughs> I love it. This, this whole entire episode has not done anything that I, I haven't done anything I had planned, but that's okay because the stuff that is happening is good. It's just kind of funny, you know. What's the old saying? Man plans and God laughs or something like that? <laughs> Uh, okay, so, yeah, if it does stand up, not the end of the world. Let's just give it a little bit more, and then I'm going to take that with me. Uh, maybe we'll even, since it's close to on the way, let's stop and check out this yellow drop, too. 
Man, I need, I want to tap a hard, but they are so hard to tame because they're so flighty. What we need to do is try and knock out a really low level one and then use the low level one to knock out a higher level one. What happened to all my darts? I don't know. I'll worry about that later. So that could be a good candidate, but we got we got bigger fish to fry right now, so I'll worry about that later. We'll eventually get one. They're, they're also good for taming quetzals, and they're good for uh, gigas, because we can shoot from their back, from the air. Man, there's lots of action going on down there, huh? This is a, a double or high quality. Let's just grab it quick and get back on the bird. Okay, looks like we got some nice flak boots. Really, oh my gosh, really nice flak boots. 420 armor? Ooh, look at this. Megaloceros, Megalit. Really? Why, why the hell couldn't those have been Rex or Philo saddles or, oh, for Pete's sake, really? Oh, well, all right, we'll keep them and we'll we'll throw them in the grinder once we get it. In fact, we're kind of heavy with these now. You know what, though? I shouldn't be complaining. We got some really, really nice flak boots out of that deal. So, yeah, quit your belly aching, OG. Be thankful for what you got. Can't complain about what we got. That's for sure. Um, all right, which direction are we going here? Uh, yeah, we want to... I think we actually want to kind of go over this way. I don't know what's going on with my textures. Um, it's one of the effects. Um, oh, by the way, I hope I'm not speaking too soon, but I wanted to mention something. I was um, having some, you know, continuing to have just bad crashes. And it seemed to be really bad when I was started building the treehouse. And so what I ended up doing after cussing up a storm, because I was just frustrated beyond belief, because <laughs> I mean, literally, I would, I'd log in, I'd put a piece down and it would crash. I'd log in, I'd put a piece down and it would crash. I mean, it was that bad. I'm not exaggerating. So what I did was I took, yeah, see, there's some kind of like sheen effect here. I, that doesn't look very realistic. Anyways. I just set everything to the lowest possible graphic settings. Everything to as low as you can go. And the crash just stopped. And it was fine. And I had, I don't know, 144 frames or whatever my monitor can do. It was just beautiful. And so I said, hmm, okay. So what I did was I, I just systematically started putting the settings starting from the top back to medium one at a time playing for about an hour and 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 then you know turning the next setting on playing for about an hour and I have not crashed since and I have uh, I have all of the settings now over here set back to medium except for view distance which I have set to high and I haven't crashed not a single time uh, in many hours of gameplay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to this side and start s systematically enabling this stuff. And hopefully I'll be able to pinpoint what it is that's causing all these crashes. And then, you know, once I figure that out, uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tweak a couple more things because there's a, a couple of the settings that I've turned on. Um, this one that's causing this all this sheen, for example, um, that has... Did I eat that thing? Oh, yeah, he's healing. You know, that I don't actually like. So, anyway, yeah, I just thought I would share that with you guys, but I'm just so happy now, after being so incredibly frustrated, <laughs> that the crashes have stopped. And I'm still on 22.11, too. You know, they haven't come out with an update yet, so... Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm running a 3060 Ti card, so this is obviously based upon my system. Um, I've got a, a 7020 i7, a 720x i7 processor, 64 gigabytes of RAM, SSD drives across the board. I don't even use hard drives anymore. 
Um, but, you know, most of it, of course, is related to the graphics card. Okay, so this area here, we could potentially spot an Ava. Sometimes the, the female deer can look like him. And like I said, I'm not actually going to worry about trying to get back before the Thylos torpor wears off, because if it does, we'll just knock it out again. But we're not going to spend a million years looking for a novice either, because they are not, unless they change something with Arc Ascended, they are very difficult to come across on the island. And I think it's mostly because they spawn in one of the most dangerous places you can spawn in, and so they spawn in and just get immediately eaten by something. We also need to pick up a date on here pretty soon, too, for heals. Very useful critters for that purpose. Look at the colors on that Rex. What color or level are you? On well, level five. Of course you are. Of course you are. I like the, the purple stripe along the top, though, and the orange be underbelly. It's really nice. You know what would be really fortuitous? is if we found an Avis with a baby. Because then we would take the... We would kill the baby, as brutal as that is, and take the Avis back and tame it. Because um, I, I just hate to kill one in the wilds because they are so rare, but... We've got a max level Thylakaleo down, and that's... the higher priority. And even with that, we're still not going to... We're still going to lose seven levels, according to... Dota Dex, but what can you do? The only way I can get uh, Extraordinary Kibble is going to be from uh, Udy's. I guess Megalania's, you can make them from that, but Megalania's going to be way more difficult for us to obtain, at, the, at least at this point, than a Udy would. Udy's are hard enough as it is. Just looking around to see if I can spot a little lamb. A sheep and a lamb, a you and a lamb, that's what we really need. I did see one Avis over by the glacier, right along the shore, way back when we first joined the server. And um, I had no means of making veggie cakes to tame it. And I left it there, which was really stupid on my part. I should have just killed it, so that way we would have gotten the mutton. What level is that, Yudi? Uh, it is 20. Okay. Nah, we don't care about that. I mean, I guess it's the theoretically possible that we could find a uteranus egg on the ground, but the chances of that, <laughs> not very good. Not very good at all. Yeah, see, this has completely messed up the snow. Whatever that setting is. Uh, well, wait. Did it? Well, it has, it's messed up a lot of things. I guess the snow... I'm going to have to figure out what that setting is. Go away, wolf. I suppose what we could do is, is fly over... to the glacier... and look around. There's an egg. It's an Argent egg, though. We'll still grab it anyway. Ooh, 145 Mammoth, but really banged up. The, the Mammoth, the best thing about the Mammoth is that it has the lightest... Uh, or, or the most weight reduction for wood. Even better than the beaver. The beaver's better at collecting, but the mammoth's better at storing. You know, if we could find a baby Yudi, we could kill the mother and take the baby back to raise it, but that's not going to help us right here and now. 
uh, or find one of their eggs on the ground. That would that would be the best thing because then we go back make the kibble. And um, with even one, it only takes two extraordinary kibble for that thylo. So if we gave it one, then the rest mutton, we'd probably get max level or really close to it. So I'm keeping my eyes peeled for eggs. Okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Um, we're going to go back and re-drug the thylo um, because I'm getting kind of heavy anyways. I'm going to drop some stuff off. And then we will uh, we'll go up by the glacier and see if we can spot one up there. It's still possible we could see one through here too, so I'll keep watching on the way back. But we need to get back pretty quick if we're going to keep that thing down. I know we don't need to, but I've got thousands of narcotics, so I think I'd rather do it that way. Okay, let's give this thing about a hundred. Okay, so assuming I gave it enough to get it all the way back up, I just gave it another hundred. Then that gives us twice the time. Well, I don't know, twice the time, but it'll get all the way up and then have to come all the way back down again. Okay, let's fly over by the glacier. And, ah, shit, you know what? I should grab some fur and maybe some Freya curry. I've got 50 fortitude, so I'm sure we'd survive, but... Since we got armor and stuff, we might as well go check that yellow drop, too. While we're over there, we might as well grab some oil. Okay, let's grab oh, about six Freya curries. Um, I have a fur cap, a fur pants. I thought I had uh, something else, too, but that, that'll be fine. Our fortitude with the Freya curry will be... We shouldn't have any problem at all. Unless it, we get a seriously bad cold snap or something. Uh, oh, nice scuba leggings. That's going to come in handy later. And some ammonite bile. Oh, we need to get that in the fridge. That, that's perishable and relatively difficult to get. Well, I mean, impossible for us to get at this point. Later on, we'll be able to get it, but... I really like the drops. You, the the frequency of good equipment is way better than it was on the island. But even if you don't get really high in equipment, you get useful things like ammonite bile, for example. So I just I really like. Oh shit, that's right. We can't put that in there. Okay, well, <laughs> oh well. Can't do much about it now, eh? We'll put the Lazarus Chowder in there. We actually need Lazarus Chowder to make Extraordinary, though, uh, you know, we'd be able to easily make that if we didn't hadn't had found it. Uh, we'll put the Scuba Gear in there. We're not going to need that. Equipment. We'll put that in there. All right, let's try this again. All right, guys, I thought we would uh, come up to the volcano really quick and see if that giga I spotted up here a couple days ago is still around. It should be unless, uh, whoa, unless stock um, did anything with it. Yep, it's still right there. It's still in the same spot. That is a level 80 giganotosaurus and something that if it sticks around long enough for us to get either a good tabahara or a... Quats, uh, we're gonna come see if we can grab that guy. Man, it's really glitchy up here. Scary. Very, very scary. Okay, so let's drop back down. That's the glacier over there. Um, yeah, actually, no, let's fly to the glacier and then we'll work our way inland back to the along the snow. Um, because we have the uh, the possibility of finding a UD egg on the ground or finding a baby Uteranus that we could grab. Yeah, it's almost like the top of the volcano is a, di a different instance because when you get down low, 
all the, all the glitchiness stops. Yeah, I really don't like that. What that's doing. There is one advantage to it, though. It makes it easier to spot critters. Uh, but I'll, I'll mess with that later and see if we can figure out what it is and turn it off. There's an explorer note. I'm going to call this E-Note. Um, we're kind of in the northwest. There we go. That way later on, uh, you know, we can deal with them uh, more easily. Okay, I hear a Yudi. Let's go see if it's got a baby with it or if it has dropped an egg somewhere on the ground. Unit Uranus is 35. I'm not seeing a baby anywhere. Okay. There's like these, um, crevasses now in the glacier. This is new. This wasn't on the island. It's very cool, man. I don't know if you call them crevasses. They're more like ice caverns. With a carno down here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this wasn't on the island. I don't ever remember there being a crack here. It's a little bit reminiscent of um, that canyon you could fly through on Scorched Earth that had a big a big crack, you know, and then you could fly through inside. I like it, though. It's kind of neat. You can have a base down here. even leads to a little water area. That is cool, man. All right. Okay, so this was the area that I saw the first Avis in a long time ago. It was just kind of hanging out along the shore here. So let's just fly around a little bit. I'm going to nab some oil while we're here, too. Okay, we have an explorer note here. We're gonna call this E note um, glacier. I'm typing at an angle here. All right, well, if there was a thylo down on the beach, and there was, that means they could also spawn up here. Or, I'm sorry, not a thylo, an avis. You guys are going, what? So let's kind of look around up and through here a little bit. Just trying to see if there's any oil stone here it's um it's a lot harder to distinguish now than it used to be and i know i know survival evolved had some oil nodes down and around here that doesn't look like it though it's got um see how do i explain it it's it's got like um a lot of strata layer look kind of a strata layer look to it it's but it's not black and oily looking like you would expect it to be see i'm not i'm not really seeing it here 
I know they're they're over on the icebergs for sure, because I've already been over there to get it. But I'm pretty sure this is just a normal stone. Yeah, it's just a normal stone. Okay, well, whatever. We we don't we don't absolutely have to get oil right now. That's not that critical. I think we should stay on task and see if we can find ourselves a novice. Okay, what I'm going to do is fly back up the glacier and uh, go kind of go back to the main area and keep looking. And I'll bring you guys back with an update here pretty soon. Here's an oil stone. And my graphics does this really weird sparkly thing too. Um, on the, on the ice in this game. So, yeah, I don't know what's up with that, but... Okay, cool. So we found a little bit of oil. All right, my timer just went off uh, for the imprint on our our wrecks, so we're gonna head back and do that. Uh, looks like we got some decent, uh, well, a little bit better than primitive flak armor leggings. So let's put those on. And what's that? Oh, laser attachment. Okay, and more ammonite bile. And a ramshackle, a really nice, actually, ramshackle Anki saddle. 43 armor, and it's not bad. And then we'll we'll top off the thylo, too. Okay, what do you want? You want care in... Wait a second. Why does that say three hours again? We're supposed to have... What the hell? Okay, yeah, something definitely needs to be tweaked there. Damn it. What about this guy? Not that this one's not that big of a deal because it's the egg dino, but yeah, he's got three hours too. Oh, that's disappointing. All right, well, I'll, you know, Stock and I will get that worked out at some point, I'm sure. The, the thing about imprinting. Especially for me is, you know, because I've got a real job <laughs> and a life and a family and all that. And I, I can't play this game 24-7 and manage imprinting. So, you know, Stock and I are going to have to figure out what a reasonable setting is for that so that it's not something that requires us to be, uh, or at least me, you know, to be on 24-7 for something like that. Did we we must have pulled that out of the drop. Okay, here, quick. Um I didn't even realize that. Uh put this in here. Okay, let's get that cooked. Um How much how many lamb chops does it say does Dota Dex say I need for this? Fifteen. Oh, okay. <laughs> Shit. Um yeah. Alright, well that gives us three. <laughs> Crap. Okay, well, we'll get this cooked up, and then we'll throw... Wait, what? Why does that say... What the hell? Do we have to have a grill to make those... That doesn't make sense. What the hell? Oh, is it a random... It must be a random thing. That makes zero sense, wildcard. Mutton turns into cooked mutton, period. End of discussion. <laughs> what? what the hell? Really? Oh, all right. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That makes me wonder if we... Even if we do find... Uh, a sheep. Are we going to get enough? Damn. Damn. Me no likey that. Hey, while we're here, what the hell did I do with my darts? Did I put it on one of you guys? Oh, you got five levels. Uh, you're Mrs. Eggs, so health is the only thing that matters with you because all you're going to do is lay eggs for us for the rest of your life. Uh, 
shit. I don't know, guys, what I did with my hundred darts. I must have accidentally dropped them on the ground at some point. That is supremely frustrating. Oh, no, there they are. Okay. Whew. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was freaking out there. Okay, let's grab all that stuff out of you. Well, okay. Can I move? Nope. This poor Thilo's going to have a freaking drug addiction, man. <laughs> Uh, and if you're wondering why I don't let it just stand back up, I'm just um, a little bit concerned that it could despawn. Um, because I've captured wild animals in this game before and left them in a pen. And and they've despawned, you know, when I leave the area. So that's, yeah, that's kind of why I'm a little bit reluctant to let it do that. Maybe that is not the case. But uh, I don't want to take any chances. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do one more check uh, for mutton. Maybe we'll um, you know luck out and, and find more in some drops. But I mean, if if it doesn't all turn into cooked mutton, I mean, what the hell? But we need a total of fifteen according to Dota decks to get this thylo stood up. And if we get that, we'll only lose four levels. Uh, which still sucks, but, you know, the alternative is Cook Prime, which means we lose seven levels. At some point, though, you know, we're going to start running into diminishing returns. But how in the frick am I supposed to get that? There we go. Oh, we got... Okay, we did get some more mutton. Uh, where's my bird? There you are. Wow, that is a... That's a hard spot to get stuff. All right, let, since we're pretty close enough to the base, let's take this back and cook it. And maybe we'll make this happen just via drops. <laughs> All right, tell you what let's do. Let's make ourselves an industrial grill. I don't know if that'll matter or not. But, uh... Oh, you know what? I bet you we have to make it in here. Let's see here. So, miscellaneous? No. Structures. Cooking. Industrial grill. Okay, so we've got the smitting paste. We got the crystal. We got the metal. We need 40 oil. Uh-oh. We have 32 oil. Son of a bitch. All right. How long will the the raw mutton last in here? Uh, oh, over a day. Okay. So we might have to run back and get some more oil than two. Or let's see. The only other way to get oil that I'm aware of is to, I mean, that we can can without the ocean is to kill some trilobites. But we're not really near the ocean. So, hmm. All right, well, okay. Let's head on back out again and try keep trying. I'm going to pump a few more drugs into our poor Thilo here. As soon as he stands up, we're going to have to send him to uh, rehab. <laughs> All right, we got a blue drop here. We'll take the meat. That. Arrows. I don't think we need the rest of that stuff. Another blue drop here. Um, we'll take that, that, those. Uh, we don't need the crystal or the corn. We got plenty of that. I don't know if Avis can spawn in this area or not. We're just south of the glacier. And we got a... What do we got? Do we have a Rex down here? Uh, we had a Rex down here. The Rex got wrecked. I tamed my very first Mammoth back in the day when Ark Survival Evolved was brand new in 2015. Uh, in this area. So, yeah. I just went into the snow, pulled it out back up to the grassy area. 
and got myself a mammoth. It was a level 30, I think, and it took hours because I was just playing on default vanilla studies back then. And, you know, for, for those of you who don't know, when Wildcard first came out with Ark Survival Evolved, they they wanted this to be a, a multiplayer uh, PvP-oriented game. Um, and it was not conducive to play single player. You could do it. Obviously, you could do it, but it was just incredibly hard. And, you know, and I, I never... Uh, it, it, I would I would say would would have been almost virtually impossible back then. Well, no, I don't want to say impossible because I, I, you know, I like to never say never, but it would have been incredibly difficult back then when the game was new to play this game on single player and and beat all the bosses and get through it. In fact, I don't even think they they had uh, worked all of that part of the game out, you know, with ascending and all that, even with the the very first edition of the game. The point being is that it was super hard to play on single player because it was geared originally towards multiplayer and PvP specifically. And, you know, everybody loved this game so much, including myself, that I think Wildcard eventually realized, hey, we better make this game a little more friendly for the single player too. Uh, which they did, you know. I think, actually, I think they made it a little too friendly if you use the actual single player settings that it now has. But still, uh, it was good of them to to kind of change their their thinking on that a little bit and make the game appeal to to the single player as well as the multiplayer PVP crowd. So, good on them for doing that. Okay, we need to find some more uh we need to find some more oil and keep looking for it of us while we're here. <laughs> Okay, we got a Ute there. What level is it? Ooh, 140 RG. Female. I wouldn't, I'd be tempted to tame that, but the circumstances are not really in our favor right now. That's a level 50 Ute. I don't see a baby Ute running around with it, and I don't see an egg on the ground. Okay. If we could find one Ute egg, that would, that would do it for us, I think. Because, you know, it only takes two extraordinary kibble to tame a 150 Thilo with our server settings. So if we could do that coupled with some cooked mutton, um, we might not lose any levels at all. I don't know. How close are you to coming down? Yeah, let's wait for this blue drop. We might get something good. Ooh, there's a trilobite. Okay, we got 16 oil. I think that's enough for us to make the grill, actually. Because I think we were short only 8, if I recall correctly. Okay, the drop is down. We gotta hurry, though, because there's a ute over there. Grab all of that stuff. And get back on the bird. And back up in the air. Alright, what do we get? Um... Leather, I'm going to chuck all the stone stuff because we can make that easily and it's just super heavy. Yeah, let's just get rid of all of that. The fireplace. And we might keep that for the for the treehouse, even though we have the one in the other shed. Oh, we should be keeping all of these soups. Okay, see that spoils in 14 and two days. Yeah, we should be keeping all, all the soups inside the bird's inventory because it'll last longer. We don't need these water spouts. Those are easy to make. Okay, well, we, we definitely have enough oil now to make the grill, which we need to make a grill anyway. Uh, like I said earlier, though, I don't know if it makes any difference whatsoever in terms of cooking mutton. All right, well, I'm going to work my way once again back to the area where the the Ava spawn and we're gonna make one last pass and if we don't find it this time I think we're just gonna use the little bit of cooked mutton that we have and then cook prime for the rest we're gonna lose levels but you know we're, we're kind of getting into a diminishing return situation because I've spent a long time already looking for this 
And you know, we'll we'll eventually come across another 150 Thilo once we're actually ready to deal with it. We're just not ready to deal with it right now in terms of what we need to tame it to get all of its levels. So it's just the timing of it, and it is what it is. Um, so I'm trying to decide what to do about this episode, because I know we've gone extremely long. I'm going to have a bunch of editing to do. But I think I'm going to just keep the camera rolling until we see this all the way through, and then I'll just figure out how I'm going to deal with it in the editing. You guys might just have a really long episode. Uh, we'll just see how that works out. Okay, well, let's go back, re-knock out that Thilo. Hopefully it's still there. We'll feed it the one or two pieces of cooked mutton that we have. The rest will be cooked prime, and we'll take what we get. It won't be a perfect tame, but it'll still be a very good tame and, and a very good functional critter. Once we get to the point where we can start producing... Uh... Extraordinary Kibble, which basically means we're going to need u Tyrannus for that. Then we can go after a level 150 at that point. Uh, or, or look for another level 150. And I might breed them too. I'm not planning on using them for, for bosses. I'm planning on using them for caving. So that's, that's their main function for us. Alright, let's see what we get here. Uh, we're just going to take all of that. Get into you, then... Silencer attachment, C4. Terror bird saddle, useless. Thanks, Ark, for giving me another worthless saddle. <laughs> hey, but we got three Lazarus chowders, so you can't complain about that. Yeah, this is all PvP stuff. That's we just don't care about that. Um, okay. Well, let's get on back and get this Thilo back and knocked out again, and then we'll get erased. Uh-oh. The Thylo icon just disappeared, which makes me wonder if it despawned. Mm. Yep, it despawned. Okay, well, okay, what that tells us then is a couple of things. One... I should not, <laughs> should have just tamed the goddamn thing, A, but B, we also know that it can and will despawn in this scenario. I'm not incredibly disappointed, though, to be quite frank with you, because I just did not like the idea of taming a, per, a, a max level Thylakaleo and not get a perfect tame on it. So I'm really not actually that bummed out about it, to be honest with you. In spite of all of the efforts that we just went to today to try <laughs> to try and get this done. So um, I'm okay with it. You know, in the long run, I, I have no choice. I have to be okay with it because it is what it is, right? But uh, but we also know, you know, that if we're ever in the situation again, we cannot let that let it wake up because then it'll just go poof. Uh, it did stay around for a while. I'd say maybe 20 minutes after it stood back up. So it doesn't ha doesn't appear to happen instantly, but it does happen eventually. Oh my gosh, it's back up in the tree. Look at that. Wow. Okay. I, I, I thought it was gone for good, but it despawned and went back up in the tree that it was in to begin with. Okay. So that changes things. Let's go ahead and pick these back up, and we will start this process all over again. Here he comes. Okay, let's get this down. We just need to get one of those in place, and then we're fine. In case he can't get out there. Sleepy time. So we're just going to put it right here for the moment. So it's got power. Turn it on. And you damn well better make... Th hey, what the hell? Why does it make prime and not mutton? 
That makes no sense. Wild card, you guys are dumbasses. That makes no sense at all. Zero. Z -ro, Z -E -R Z-E-R-0. Z-E-R-0. O. Zero. Cents. Oh, for Pete's sake. All right. Well, here's what it is. Okay. So we got two pieces of cooked mutton. Let's go throw this on the phyllo. And then the rest will be cooked prime. And we're going to take what we can get. Give it this first. And then that. Okay, so right now it's got 74 levels. Okay, we lost a level there. We lost two levels. Three levels. All right, that's not as... that's Dex is wrong. <laughs> well, actually, I shouldn't say it's wrong. Um, We only lost three levels. That's, that's not so bad, actually. That's not so bad. Uh, all right, you are a male, and um, I have no idea what we're going to name you. We're going to just name you Thigh for now. I know that's lame, but that's all I can come up with. <laughs> Dude, you, like, totally put me through all kinds of stuff today. All right, you guys. Um, Oh, my goodness. What a fiasco today. But you know what? Here's the important thing. We had fun, right? We had fun, and that is the important thing. And we got ourselves... An almost perfect team, Thylakaleo, uh, Thyla right? We only lost three levels, which isn't too bad, all, uh, all things considered, you know, because we just weren't ready to tame this critter. But uh, we did it anyways, and we got ourselves a pretty nice um, uh, animal there. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed If you did, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Goodbye.